Hello everybody, this is Leah from Manuscript Manager and welcome to our tutorial video today that will show how an associate editor makes a recommendation or a decision. I'm going to be logging in as associate editor Arthur Amory. I'll go ahead and click the associate editor icon and that brings me into Arthur Amory's dashboard. You can see the dashboard is broken up into four sections, reports and graphs, to-do list, and manuscripts and review. The part that concerns us today is the to-do list where we can see that there are four manuscripts ready for a decision or a recommendation. If I click that line, I'll come into a more detailed view of those manuscripts. Okay, and now I've come into the more detailed view of those manuscripts. You'll see that each one is represented on a horizontal line. For our demo today, we'll be looking at manuscript number 39. You can see some general information about when it was submitted and the manuscript number and the title, the editors involved with the manuscript, the number of reviews returned, and the number of days in review. In the third column, we have a few more details about who returned the manuscripts and what they've said. And we have a little status in the fourth column. On the far right, we have a green button that says View Review. So I'm going to click that for manuscript 39. You'll see that we've moved from the Details tab into the Review tab. In theory, the next tab would be the Decision tab. Right now, we're still in the Review section of this manuscript. If I scroll down a little bit, you can see some more of the details that are at our fingertips here. First of all, the section that, numbers, that gives us the number of required reviews in order to make a decision or a recommendation, in this case two, for manuscript number 39. And then we could see the list of potential reviewers where the first two have been invited and have both returned reviews. And in the far right, we can see the details of those returned reviews by clicking this little button that says See Review. Just quickly, the third person on the list could be invited if necessary. You can see the little invite icon. But because we've reached the required number of reviewers, it's not necessary to invite that person nor the fourth person on the list. So we'll focus on the first two reviews and we'll go in and read the details of them. So now here is the actual review. We would read it and then rate it. You can see this one's already rated. Very good. We've already been here. I'll go back. And we'll go to the second reviewer and read that review. Here is that review. We would then rate it. Again, rated very good. And then go back. And now we could either click that we're ready to make a decision down here at this button, or we could go up to the top of the page and click that we are ready to make a decision on this tab. Either way, you come to the next screen called the decision screen. Here we have again some basic information about the manuscript, the number, and the title. We can add a flag, we can add a note, we can also refresh our memory if it's been a while since we last saw the reviews. We can click right here to see reviewer reports, quickly refresh our memory. We can write comments to the authors, confidential comments to the review board. We can make an overall rating, in this case very good. And we can make our decision or recommendation right here. In this case, we'll recommend accept the manuscript with minor revisions. Save and continue. Okay, and here we'll see that we've come into the email notification page where we can see that the automatic email that will be sent out to the author is down here below. We can always personalize it by clicking into the message and then we would save and send the email. And that concludes our tutorial on how to make a decision or a recommendation as an associate editor. Thank you for being with us today.